hey girls and welcome back to my channel it's ijama so this is like a cut out from the last video that i posted i posted this straight cut that on my instagram and people have been looking for it so i had to cut it out from that video so that i can focus on it now i have folded the front part and i'll mark my bust point my bust point is 10 my chest line is 8 my under bust is 13 inches my half length is 17 inches and i'll add two inches seam i like adding two inches allowance after my half end so i want to like take my time and explain this that very well now after doing that i will find my nipple to nipple my nipple to nipple is eight divided by two that is four but you know this is a free hand so you are marking four and half because we're adding allowance to the that we are adding allowance to the main fabric this is freehand so every allowance must be on your fabric now after marking that 4.5 5.5 i'll mark a straight line down to my allowance line down to your underboss your half length and your allowance line this is the nipple to nipple this is the midpoint of our posture and this is the front part this is a straight that so after marking that straight line i will take out three inches or two and a half from the shoulder area like this is more like a shoulder that if you want you can take out one and a half on that side and one inch from the center piece but i'm taking everything from one side it looks more like a shoulder that also but it is another form of making a straight that then from there i will connect it to my bust point then at my under bust i will take out one and a half inch on the side piece and connect to my boss point i'll take out one and a half at the side piece and connect to the boss point then remember i took out that one and a half at my under boss i'm gonna connect it to my boss point then from that under boss i will mark a straight line down to the allowance on the full length now from the mid at the middle piece i'll take out half an inch at the under boss, I'll take out half an inch from the middle piece and I'll connect it straight down and I'll also connect it to my boss point. Everything is focusing on the boss point. Like everything is facing the boss point. Now we are done with the shoulder that and we are done with the under boss that. Like I said, for that shoulder that, if you want, you can take out one and a half on the side piece and one inch on the center piece. But I like making everything to be on one side. I prefer it that way. Then I'll go ahead and cut out my center piece and I'll cut off the under boss tightening and the upper boss, the shoulder that tightening now there is no neckline here this is what we have right so the next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to overlap it so that all this bust curve will hide like you place it in a way that the bust cuts will be hidden then you start taking your measurements first of all i will take my waist measurement divided by four plus two inches seam allowance then i will take my shoulder remember i've not measured my shoulder i'll take my shoulder measurement now this is my shoulder measurement and i will connect I'll have to connect my armhole. After marking your dart and everything, you can now take your shoulder measurement. And you can see I closed my shoulder dart before taking that shoulder measurement. I hope you can understand. Then I'll go ahead and take my bust measurement divided by 4 plus 2 inches seam allowance. My bust is 36 divided by 4 plus 2 inches seam allowance. And I'll go ahead and connect it to my waist measurement. I have not marked my neckline, but you can see I had to overlap. I had to close the darts before taking my shoulder, my bust, and my waist measurement. Now, this is what you have. Heading over to the back part, you can decide to use a normal back panel. But this is how I cut out my back panel. And in most cases, I don't use that on my back panel. I know how I manipulate it. I know how I do it. So what I'm going to do is that I will fold another fabric. This is the fabric that I'm using for the back. And I'll go ahead and place my front on it. And as you're placing it, remember to add, leave an allowance for your zipper. Remember to leave your an allowance for your zipper. And I'll go ahead and Place it in a way that the center piece will overlap. Please notch your underboss. It's very important. Remember to notch your underboss. Then place the center piece so that it will close the darts of the side or of the bustier. Make sure that you close the darts of the bustier. Make sure that overlapping. Then I'll go ahead and cut whatever shape it gives me plus my zipper allowance. That is how I cut out my 
back post here. And I don't add that. If you want to add that, you can add that allowance. But for me, I manipulate my dash from the zipper. Like as I'm coming down, my zipper allowance will be getting smaller. You can see the zipper allowance is wider at the top and smaller around the waistline. That is what I normally do. I do this zip intake when I'm doing when I'm marking my back. So now that is what I have right there. After doing this, I'll go ahead and cut out the lining for all of them, both the front and the back. And if you can notice, I have not really cut out my neckline. I don't like cutting out my neckline. If you're making this type of that, it is advisable to cut your neckline after you must have done your joining and everything. The reason, the only time where you can cut out your neckline immediately is when your neckline is not too wide. Let's say when your neckline is like three by three, when your necklace, neckline is like three inches wide, because it will not enter that, that space. But in this case, if my that, if my neckline is wide and I do it, it will affect me seriously. So let's leave the neckline part until we are done cutting the lining and we are done joining the pieces. So now I am done joining the, I'm done cutting out the lining for the back. I'll go ahead and cut out the lining for the front and as you are cutting your lining make sure that you are notching your under bust also so that you know where your under bust is at you can see i'm notching my under bust then i'll go ahead and cut out um, another lining for the other side of my front for the side piece of my front and this that is very easy especially when you are making some certain necklines especially square necklines like block necklines four corner neckline actually that type of neckline it helps you to be very very tight at your over bust like at your upper bust now i'm done cutting out the lining the next thing that i'm going to do now is to cut out the pad or the wording some people call it wording some people call it pad it now it is up to you to determine the type of pad you want to use the type of pad you would want to use now these are the pieces that i have and this is the pad or the wording that i have it is not too thick and it is not too light i'll go ahead and fold and then i will cut it will start from the under bust and then stop somewhere around your chest line. Then you give it a sweetheart neckline. That is how I cut out my center. Then for the side, it will start from the under bust also. And it will stop somewhere above your armhole line, above your chest line. You can see I have cut straight from my under bust. And it, is to it stopped somewhere above my armhole. And I'll go ahead and curve the pad for the side. So this is the pad for the side. And you can see what I have right here. You can see my pad. Everything is looking nice. So now, just go ahead and join the pieces. I'll just use half an inch. Remember, I added half an inch allowance while I was cutting. I'll just use that half an inch to join. Now, I am done joining. And if you are cutting, you can add interface to your fabric code. This this tutorial, this thing is just for tutorial sake. So I did not really add interface to it. Now, I'll go ahead and fold it into two. Find the midline of your bust here. And make sure that the dart lines are on the same line like fold it into two this is our front after joining fold it into two make sure that your dart line everything is in place and then you can now go ahead and take your neck measurement my neck depth is seven six inches it is deep then the width is four now go ahead and mark four now you can see the reason why i said you should close your dart before marking your neckline this neckline is wide and that's why it's past my dart line i'll go ahead and cut this out so now sorry my camera was not recording when i cut this out now this is what i have you can see what i have there i've cut out my neckline and i'll go ahead and repeat the same thing on the lining because I've joined the lining of this front also. You go ahead and repeat the same thing on the lining. And this is the lining. I've also cut out my lining with the same measurements. You can just place your Ankara on your lining and there you will cut. Sorry, my camera was not really recording. I didn't know that it wasn't. Now, for the back, 
I've not cut out the neckline for the back, right? And remember that we have two inches zipper allowance around the upper part of this back. I'll take out that two inches zipper allowance first of all. Then from that two inches, I'll now mark my four inches for my neck width. The neck width is four inches now. Then I want my neck depth to be 10 inches. So four by 10, four by 10 for my back. I'll go ahead and cut out. So after cutting, I can now go and turn the neckline. I'll just turn my neckline. And like I told you, I don't add that to my back. But if you want to add that to yours, you are also free to add that to yours. It is good for beginners. Please add that. I'll turn the neckline. Now I am done turning the neckline for the back. And I'll go ahead and close my zipper allowance. I like closing my zipper allowance before taking my body measurement. And you can see my zipper is slanted because I did not add that. My zipper is looking wider at the down parts now. Because I did not add that. I had to take out the dots from the zipper allowance. Now, this is what I have. This is the back. And this is the front. I'm done turning the front. This side. This is what I have at the front. And it is looking nice. The upper bust tightening will be in place and all that. So, now this is the back. I'll place the front on the back. I like joining my side pieces before turning my shoulder. Before joining my shoulder. I make sure that two of them are equal at the half length. That is what I normally do. Make sure two of them are equal at the half length. Then you take your body measurements, your bust and your waist measurement. After shaping the sides, you can now go ahead and shape the shoulder of this bust here. Yeah, that is what I do. I like shaping the sides before the shoulder. At the end of the day, this is what we have. You can now trim off the two inches seam allowance you added. You measure your half length and trim off that excess allowance. I like having that excess allowance to be on the safer on the safer side. Then you trim your armhole. I want my armhole to be smaller because of the type of puffy sleeve that I want to add to this. Um, to this um dress so at the end of the day that is what we have i hope the tutorial is helpful do not forget to subscribe and click on the like button so that more people can see this video bye